Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is Tip for Tuesday. And today's tip is new to me. I ran across this on the internet one day this week and I thought, I wonder if that works. <laughs> so instead of just telling you what the tip is, we're gonna try it out today and we're gonna see how well it works. But before I get started, I usually say, if you like food and fun, hit the subscribe button. But what I really wanna say today is thank you. I wanna say thank you to those of you who have subscribed, to those of you who take time out of your busy schedules to watch my videos, I know I'm not everyone's cup of tea. So the, for those of you who watch and especially, you know, take the time to make a comment, it means the world to me. It really does. So I just want to say thank you. And for those of you who haven't subscribed, if you like food and fun, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and check the description below. You'll find details on how subscribing helps to feed the hungry. Okay, so the tip is this. Add a little bit of baking powder. I couldn't remember if it was baking powder or baking soda to your mashed potatoes. And I thought with Thanksgiving coming up, this would be a really good tip. Anyway, it's supposed to make them like super fluffy. I have never heard this. So you guys have to let me know in the comments if this is something you've heard of, if you've tried it, if you think it works or, or if it doesn't. In my experience, what has made the most fluffy potatoes, and I believe I did a video on this, so I don't know if I'll make more potatoes today to compare while I'm doing this one. But anyway, I think I made a video on it and um, usually I use a potato ricer. Matter of fact, last week I used it on something and I think those make them super fluffy. So we'll see. Anyway, this is an old recipe. I don't know if it's from Better Homes and Gardens or Betty Crocker cookbook. Anyway, someone had posted this in the comments where people were debating whether this worked or not. And it is six medium potatoes, quarter cup of milk, two tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of baking powder. So here's something that I ran across also, something I read. It said that some recipes call for up to a half a teaspoon of baking powder, that any more, it could give it a really bitter taste. So you have to be careful, almost like start with a pinch of it and then add more if you don't think they're fluffy enough. This is a full teaspoon, so I'm gonna go by this recipe. And then a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, which is definitely not enough, and a tablespoon of grated onion if desired. So I normally put some fresh garlic in mine. We're gonna try the onion today. We're gonna see how that works. Another thing is that is do not put, not in this particular thread, but in another one that I was reading, don't put baking soda in there that'll turn them black. And I'm not sure that that happens. But anyway, apparently the baking powder is supposed to react with the heat of the potatoes and that's what's supposed to make them fluffy. So six potatoes that I've already peeled are in the pot and I did not cut these because cook potatoes in boiling salted water 30 minutes. I don't know if there's gonna be anything left of these potatoes in 30 minutes. Drain and mash, add the milk, the butter, the baking powder, and the seasonings. Beat until fluffy, add the onion, make six to eight servings. Definitely not enough for our house, even though there's only like three of us. Draven can probably eat eight servings himself. All right, so I'm gonna move this over to the stove. I don't know that my little burner I normally put here is powerful enough to bring this whole pot to a boil, or if I'm just being lazy today. <laughs> we all know how lazy I can be. So I'm gonna move this over there. I'm gonna boil these and I will see you guys in 30 minutes my time. <laughs> Uh-oh, I forgot a pot holder. <laughs> Let's set it here. Okay. Oh, I can't believe there are still potatoes in here. 30 minutes of boiling. <sighs> Put that in there. And I have my KitchenAid mixer and we are gonna use that in a second to beat these. But first it says to drain them and mash them. So I'm using a regular old-fashioned potato masher here. <laughs> I really thought after 30 minutes there would not be anything left of these potatoes. And actually, it feels like one of them's not even done all the way. I mean, maybe you're supposed to cut them. Maybe you're supposed to, like, quarter them or something. That'd be my guess. Whew, this is a workout. <laughs> Thank heavens for... KitchenAid mixers. <laughs> okay, so mash, drain and mash, add the milk. So one quarter cup of milk. Add the butter, two tablespoons of butter. And a teaspoon of baking powder. Yeah, looking at it this way, a teaspoon looks like a lot. Oh no. In my mind, when I drop this in here, it seems like it would be like flour, like when you're making gravy, that it's just going to clump up if you don't, you know, whisk it in the right way or something. So I'm going to kind of sprinkle it over the top. I don't know. This is all new to me. So <laughs> we'll see. And one teaspoon of salt. Potatoes always need extra salt, I think. 
a teaspoon sounds pretty good though for this amount. And then one quarter teaspoon of black pepper, which like I said, is not nearly enough for me anyway. A lot of times when I do mashed potatoes too, if I don't want them to have like the little black specks in there, when I make mashed potatoes or stuff like white gravy, I'll actually use a white pepper, which I prefer. But I was trying to stick to the recipe as it calls for, except I just added a little more of the black pepper. So one tablespoon grated onion if desired, and I desire. <laughs> Because I like onion. I don't understand anybody that doesn't like onion. I just can't understand it. But what I like even more is fresh garlic in my mashed potatoes. And that's probably more than a tablespoon. So we'll just leave it at that. Okay. So we need to grab our mixer. And we also need an attachment. Almost forgot we needed one of these. On to here she goes. And then I'm gonna put this back on here. And oh, wait a minute, we did it wrong. Beat until fluffy and then add the onion. I don't know. Think it'll make a difference? Let's give it a whirl. Is it not plugged in? Am I not plugged in it? Oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> Now it's plugged in. Can some of this go on the floor? Here's another tip for you. Do one of these numbers if you're working with powdered sugar, flour, <laughs> or mashed potatoes that might fly out the bowl. But it also traps the steam in. You can put your head in here and get like a facial. <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like I need to be adding more milk or something. I'm gonna say no. This is not a good tip. Whoa. <laughs> it does not work. I don't know. Maybe it's because the potatoes weren't done all the way. I don't know. Let me taste these. I don't know. It's hard to say. I think I was supposed to quarter the potatoes. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought so for cooking them for 30 minutes, but I think my potatoes aren't quite as soft as they need to be. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this is a fail, but because of me, not necessarily the recipe. I'll have to try it again next time we make potatoes and see what happens. My suggestion is to get a potato ricer. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> It's around here somewhere. But anyway, I think that makes the, the most fluffy mashed potatoes. So I guess the only good tip I had for you today was put a towel over your KitchenAid, your stand mixer, <laughs> to keep things from flying out on the floor. Anyway, that's all I got for today. I'm sorry the baking powder did not work. But maybe it's just me, like I said. So anyway, guys, let me know if you tried this, because I'm curious to know if it, it does work, if that's what I did wrong, if it was just the potatoes. Or maybe I wasn't supposed to put the onion in when I did, and I was supposed to wait till the end. I have no idea. I'm still going to eat the potatoes. So I'm not going to let them go to waste. The taste is good. Texture, not so good. Anyway, I thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.